Hello, everybody, and welcome to the next class with Teacher Wesley. Hello, hello, Andre. Welcome, welcome. All right, guys, we're going to have a great class today. This is going to be an advanced class, okay, an advanced class. And we're going to be doing reading comprehension. Now, if you are practicing for a test coming up, this class is going to be helpful for you. We're going to be looking at some rather detailed short stories. They're going to be full of details. Um, you're going to be able to practice your reading and your pronunciation. But then even more than that, what you're going to do after that, friends, is you're going to be seeing how much of it you understood and comprehended, okay? And we're going to ask you a series of questions, which you're going to have to reason on the information that was provided to you and try to decide uh, certain things about the characters based on the information you were given. So that's really going to test how much you really understand when you're reading English and if you get the sense of the words behind it, okay? Now that's what we're talking about when we talk about this advanced comprehension. How much do you really understand? Sometimes things are said, sometimes things are just hinted at, and do you get the sense of it? Well, anyways, my name is Teacher Wesley. If you have Verbling Premium, then come on in and take a seat. We'll be happy to have you. If you don't have Verbling Premium, then we'll just get you to wait a few more minutes. But we do have a few students here now, so let's welcome them, okay? So first of all, we have... Now this is a difficult name for me. Is it Rag Ragnil? Yeah. Ragnil? Yeah, hey, yes. how you doing? Hi. Good, good. Hey, what's how are you? I'm fine. I'm just um having a, some problems. Oh. Well, I don't like you to have problems. Is there any way I can help with your problem? Well, for some reason I'm getting um I can hear you twice. Um Oh. In lifetime and a bit old, and then I can't get any pictures. Okay, well, I think maybe the echo is because you have maybe two screens open. Just close down all your screens and only have one screen open. Okay. I'm trying, um, okay. but my uh, computer froze. I'm getting there. Uh oh. Okay, <laughs> well, we'll wait for you. Don't worry. We'll wait for you. Okay. Uh, let's welcome and Andre. Hi, Andre. Hi. How you doing? How you doing? Good, thank you. How you doing? I'm fine. Good. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Brazil. Are you now? Great. Excellent. So you speak uh, Portuguese and English, and what else? In the Spanish. And Spanish. Okay. Okay, great. In the, in the future, in the future, who knows French? Oh, French! Wow, good for you. It's, it's my it's my next next to go. Oh, perfect. Okay, welcome to the class. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hey, Yusuf, how you doing? Hey, hello, guys. I'm fine. Thank oh, great. You great, miss my great. skull, don't you? What a beautiful skull you have. Yeah. <laughs> Good. How is your? How was your? I, I haven't talked to you for a few days. How was your um, your weekend? Well, um, actually, uh, I was um, at home. You know, this three days, three four days. Yeah. But I wasn't able to participate in many classes, especially oh. the classes because uh, it's not match my timing actually. And oh. I was participating with um, uh, translating verb playing. And yeah. uh, maybe after the class, I have some question. Maybe you can help me with. Oh, you were doing some translating. Yeah, mm, verbling translating. Oh, you're working for verbling. <laughs> no, participating actually. It's just like. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, welcome to the class. Okay. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna meet some of the or greet some of the other students here. So we have Tharsisio Sousa. How you doing? I'm doing fine. Thank you for asking. And you? God, I'm doing well. Thanks. Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Brazil. Brazil. Okay. Great. Mm -hmm. And what time is it in Brazil? It's what time is it over there? 8 p.m. 8, 8 p.m. Okay. Great. Yeah. Excellent. Welcome. Happy to have you. Thank you. All right. Uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Now we're gonna meet 
Manel. Hi, Manel. Uh, hello, teacher. Hey, how you doing? I'm, I'm good, but kind of tired. A bit tired? Why are you so tired? Uh, because it's midnight and I have school to go. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. So, where do you live? I live in Algeria, North Algeria. Africa. Algeria. Oh, okay, cool. Well, I'm happy that you're joining us. Please don't fall asleep. No, I won't. <laughs> okay, good. All right. Fabio, how you doing? I'm doing fine, thank you. How about you? Good, good. Fabio, you have an Italian last name. Are you from Italy? Yeah, I am. Actually, I am. Yeah. Oh, are, you in, are you in Italy right now? I am actually in Italy, yeah. I live in Tuscany. <coughs> it's a small city by the seaside. It's about, uh, just to give you some reference, it's about uh, 20 kilometers from Pisa, 90 from Florence. Okay, okay, nice. So, did you say, are you coastal? Or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I live yeah. at the coast. Yeah. Okay. And it's, right. it's a small city by the seaside, so it's. Yes, yes. I think you said that. I just missed it. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, that's great. You speak. It seems like you speak really good English. How many years have you been speaking English? Oh uh, well, that, that's kind of weird because <coughs> I've, I've been studying English since I was uh, six years old. Uh -huh. I've studied it for eleven years. Okay. And uh, so till I was seventeen in schools, and then I practiced because of my job and stuff like that. So. I'm, Okay. Yeah. Okay. Great. Well, I tell you what. Uh, it's going to be nice to have you in the class. We're going to do some, uh, as I mentioned already, some advanced reading comprehension. So you should be able to help out some who maybe aren't quite as advanced as you are. It's nice to always have somebody that's got a lot of experience. Right um, on. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go to David or David. How you doing? Hi. Who are you? Good, David. Uh, where are you from? I am from Ecuador. From Ecuador. Okay, excellent. And um, what did you do today? Okay, I went to classes. Um, I did uh, my homework, and, and that's it. Oh, okay. Um, well, it sounds like a productive day. Uh, yeah, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's going to be really productive because now you're going to learn some English. Welcome to the class. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. Um, uh, um, Ray, how you doing? Um, um, I'm paro. doing well. Thanks. Um, Amparo. Amparo. Um, um, paro. Finally, um, just um, told you. <laughs> how, how have you been? Fine, thank you. And you? Great. Thanks very much. Yeah, I'm doing well. Thanks. I was away for the weekend. And I had a nice weekend uh, visiting with some friends, and uh, now I'm back, and uh, I'm glad that I made it home safe. <laughs> yes. And it's nice to have you back in the class. Thank you. Yeah, you're very welcome. Okay, and Abdullah, how are you today? Abdullah or Abdullah, which, which one is it? I, I'm so bad with... Uh, with the Middle Eastern names, I'm sorry. A Abdullah. Hi, how are you doing? Hey, good, how are you, man? I'm fine, thank you. All right, excellent. Welcome to the class, okay? Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, guys, so that's it. We've done all of our greeting, and now we're going to get into the material. So how this is going to work is I'm going to give you guys a link to a um, short story. We're going to take a look at that together, and I'll help you with your pronunciation if there's any thing you're having trouble with. And then after, what we'll do is we'll ask a series of questions, and then based on the uh, material that you've just read, you'll have to answer the questions. And if you can't get it, that's okay. We'll get some of the other students to help out. and It should be a good class. Uh, so let's go ahead and start it off here. Let me just give you the link for what our first uh, article. Okay. Wes, could you please post the link on... Post the link where? We'll chat as well. Okay, yeah, I, I posted on both of them for you, all right? Okay, Thank you. now, yeah, you're very welcome. Now, the only thing is, the only thing, friends, is I don't want you, please, to look at the questions uh, until we do it together. Now, the reason why is, is that this is supposed to be reading comprehension. So you, you just read the story, and then you test what you, re what you retain, okay? So don't read ahead. All right, 
We're going to take turns. We're going to have take turns with the reading. Yusuf, can you read the first little paragraph, please? Yeah, but I don't have the link. Oh, okay. Here it is. Just give me a second. It's loading. Okay. We'll, 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 come, we'll come back to you. Tarsicio, first paragraph, please. Okay. What do you do with your orange peels and corn cobs after you are done eating? Most people throw them in a trash can, but food left leftovers do not have to. Hello. They don't have to what? Oh gosh, they are biological material. They are what? Sorry. They are what? They are biodegradable, <laughs> which means that they can be broken down by bacteria into natural material. People who like to garden often put their fruit and vegetable crabs in a special place known as compost pile. Perfect. Good job. That word is vegetable. Vegetable. Okay. Okay, let's, yeah, that's better. That's better. Good. Okay, uh, Ragenhild, can you read the next little paragraph, please? Yes. Um, a compost pile is a spot outdoors where food waste can break down into compost, which gardeners use. This process takes several months. Once the compost is created, people spread this mixture in their gardens to add nutrients to the soil. Compost in the soil helps new plants grow in the garden. Excellent. Nice pronunciation there. Okay. Good job. Let's go to um, Manel. Can you read the next paragraph? Yes. Uh, how do you take care of composite, composite pile? It needs air, water, and heat. Bacteria and other microorganisms break down the food waste into more basic elements like water and carbon dioxide. This process Carbon dioxide, dioxide. Okay, carbon dioxide. Di dioxide. This process uh, requires oxygen, so people use a shovel to turn compost regularly and have air reach all parts of the, uh, of the pile. The pile cannot dry out, so it should be covered to keep moist moisture in. Finally, heat speeds up the process. This means a compost pile, pile should be in the sun for at least part of the day. Good. Thank you. Okay, Fabio, can you read the next paragraph? Yep. <clears throat> Food leftovers are not the only things that turn into compost. You can also add yard waste yard waste like grass clippings, dried leaves and straw. In fact you should add these things to create a healthy balance in your compost. But do not add any weeds to your compost pile unless you want to grow weeds in your garden. Sometimes seeds are left behind in the compost. This can be a welcome surprise if you find a tomato plant sprouting where you had not planted one. The tomato seed was hiding in the compost waiting to begin a new life in the garden. Okay, nice pronunciation to you as well. Great job. Thank All right, so while everything is fresh in your mind, let's go to question one, okay? Now, let's have um, David Morales. Can you please read question one? Now, here's how we're going to do it, everybody. I want you to read the question and read all of the answers and then tell me which answer you think is correct, okay? Okay, uh, question one. Gardeners use compost to A. Reduce the amount of trash on the planet. B. Break down food waste. Uh, C. Add nutrient, nutrients to the soil. And D. Take care of bacteria and other microorganisms. Okay, I think. Uh, micro okay, wait a second. I just want to help everybody. Everybody, okay. listen carefully. Microorganisms. Just wait. Microorganisms. When I snap my fingers, I want the whole class to say it at the same time. All right. Microorganisms. 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 That's it. You got it. That's it. You got it. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Which is the correct answer, David? Yeah. Uh. 
Okay, probably it is uh, B. Okay, or gardeners C. use compost to break down food waste, all right? Or C. C. Okay, which one do you think, B or C? Uh, C. You think C, David. Okay, Fabio, what do you think? It is C. You think C, yeah. all right. What, what do you think, Manel? I think it's C, too. You guys are right. It's C. Excellent job. Bravo, bravo. Okay, let's go to number two. Andre, number two. Okay, uh, number two. To, to take care of a compost pile, you have to turn it regularly, cover it, uh, or make sure it is in the sun for at least, at least part of the day. Okay, so now you've got number one only, number one and two only, number two and three only, or number one, two, and three only. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, I think uh, letter B. No, one sorry. Uh, letter C, sorry. Letter C, two and yes. three. Yes. Okay, okay. What do you think, Atarcicio? Mm, let me think. Only, no. Two and three. Better speak. Two and three. Okay, Yusuf, what about you? Yusuf, are you there? No, he's not there. Am Amparo, what do you think? Um... Letter D. Oh, three, D, okay. Three of them. You're absolutely right. Letter D is correct here, guys. So it's all of them. You have to do all of them. Okay? Okay. Can I, uh, sorry, Wes, can I interject a minute? Sure, go ahead. Yeah, because I have a compost in my garden. And uh -huh. actually, technically, to me, letter C is true, but not, not because it's false, but because of I also have got big rats around here. <laughs> so they usually dig yes. in my composter. So I, I, I really don't use to, to turn it upside down because the rats do it for me. So <laughs> technically I'd say that to technically, me Yeah. We, to me we are, right. is fine, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, good. I like that. I like that. So the the moral of the story is if you have a compost you should have rats. Then you don't yeah. have to do anything. <laughs> Big ones. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Big rats, preferably. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good stuff. I like it. I like it. All right, let's go to number three. Let's have um, Amparo Rey. Can you do number three, please? People should start a compost pile if they a need compost right away. B do not do not like to garden. C, want to put their food waste to good use, and D, eat oranges and corn. I think it's C, want to put their food, food waste to good use. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Muy bien. <laughs> Abdullah, number four. Uh, you should not uh, put weeds in a compost pile because... Uh, they do not create a healthy balance. Uh, food leftovers are the only things that turn into compost. You do not want su want surprise plants growing in your garden. Um, the seeds can create new weeds in your garden. Um, it's D. Yeah. Okay, D. All right. And Regan Hill, what do you think? Well, I think D, but it could sort of be both C and D. That's true, that's true. So which one do you think is more correct? Um, D. Yes, you're absolutely right. So for everybody who thought D, good job, good job. Okay, let's go to uh, the next one, number five, and let's go back to Tarsicio Sousa, number five. Number five, okay. As used in the final paragraph, 
sprouting most nearly mean a blooming, b growing, c appearing, d hiding. I think. Mm, what is that? It's sprouting. I think it's appearing. Appearing. Okay. Good. Good. Anybody growing, have a different opinion? Growing. growing. I think it's growing. Sorry. I think it's b. About the call. About the what? Number five. What is yeah? What is sprouting mean? Uh, I think it's B. Okay. What is B? Growing. Growing. Uh, Tharcicio, repeat after me. Growing. 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 Yeah, that's good. Regenhild, can you say growing? Growing. Yeah, you got good pronunciation. Who else? Who else says it? Amparo, growing. Amparo, growing. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay, good. So yes, you guys are right. It's growing. Sprouting means growing. Okay, in, in this context. All right, let's go to number six and let's go back to you, Regenhild. Yes. Um, the author apparently believes that a tomato plant. Is not a weed, should not go in a compost pile, is the best thing a gardener can grow, requires compost to grow. And uh, I think it's uh, A. Okay, why do you think it's A? What's your reasoning? Because, um, I don't know, because it's food? <laughs> Okay, but why do you think the, the see it says the author apparently believes this? What tell me your line of reasoning? Um, because it was something in the last sentences about um, uh, the um, tomato plant um, suddenly appearing. I can't remember what it said. Um, yeah, you're on the right track. So you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Okay, if we go back to here, it says. Um, don't you know? Don't put seed, Don't put weeds in your compost pile because it can be a welcome surprise if you find tomato plant sprouting where you had not planted one. The tomato seed was hiding in the compost, waiting to begin a new life in the garden. So what is so what is that trying to say? How does that help you to appreciate that he doesn't think that tomatoes are weeds? Because it's a welcome surprise. Exactly. That's it. Very good. That's it. Fantastic. No, nobody wants weeds, but you wouldn't mind tomatoes, right? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So that's it, guys. That's it. Now, are there? If we go back to the story itself, are there any questions about the story itself? Maybe, maybe any words that you were new, or any expressions, or any questions at all about anything? Okay, no questions? Perfect. Now, just before we move along then, let me ask you guys another question, okay? Did you find this to be too easy or too hard? So far, so good. So far, so good. Okay, because we can make it a little more difficult if we want or we can bring it down a little bit. We're going to do another one now, okay? What do you guys want, harder or easier? Or harder. just the same? Harder. 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 Everybody wants harder. Yes. All right. What do you want, Fabio? Bring it on. Bring it on. Bring it on. <laughs> okay. No. At the university level, it's just harder. Do you want university <laughs> level? <laughs> All right. Let's give you guys a little harder, shall we? Here we yep. go. Let's let's see how you do with this one. It's going to be short, but it's going to be hard. But don't cry afterwards. So. Yeah, there's no no crying. It's a democracy. Let, let's vote. <laughs> there's no <laughs> crying allowed in my classes. <laughs> All right, let's try this one. Okay. So, I, I yes. can't see it. It's not there yet. Oh. Can you put it on the? Oh, there it is. I will. Yeah, I will. I'll put it up there too. All right. So let's start with. Um, the reading, and we'll go through paragraph by paragraph. Let's have Abdullah. Can you please read the first little uh, paragraph, please? 
Okay. Um, to whom uh, it might concern? It may concern. Sorry, on the fifth March. Uh, on March fifth. On March fifth. Okay. Well, that way. Okay. On March fifth, two thousand and ten, I bought the perfect muffin kit from your store at Middlefield Mall. The cashier who assisted me was George. George was very friendly and assured me that the perfect muffin kit uh, would live up to a guarantee, up to the guarantee on the box. Perfect muffins every time. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, Fabio, the next paragraph, please. Unfortunately, this product did not live up to its claim. Although the box promised, as a state above, to provide perfect muffins every time, the muffins I made were far from perfect. <laughs> I followed the directions, including the package, very carefully. First, I removed the bag of mix from the box. Then I poured it into a bowl. Next, I added the correct amount of water to the mix and stirred it. The directions said that after stirring the mixture, I could, and I quote, at half a cup of raisins, nuts, berries, or another favorite ingredient. My favorite ingredient happens to be hot sauce. <laughs> I, find that a dash of <laughs> I find that a dash of hot sauce makes pizza, pasta, and soup taste very delicious. So, continuing to follow the directions, I added half a cup of hot sauce to, to the mix and stirred it. Finally, I poured the mix into muffin tins and baked it into the oven at 350 degrees for exactly 20 minutes. Okay, good job, good job. Sorry, yeah. All right. <laughs> that, 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 that looks like a, the, you know, the, the beginning of the Monty Python sketch. Yeah. yeah. Baking. Yeah. Baking. Baking. <laughs> okay, baking, baking. All right, uh, Andre, Andre, can you read the next little paragraph? Yes, uh, when the muff, muff, muffins. Yeah. Yes. When the yeah, when the muffins. Ah, okay. Uh, when the muffins finished baking, I was very excited to eat the perfect muffins, as promised, as promised on the box. You can imagine my disappointment when, after tasting the muffins, I discovered that they were not perfect. This muff. These muffins were, in fact, absolutely terrible. Not, <laughs> I'm sorry, not even my dog was interested interested in eating these supposedly perfect mufflings. Supposedly, <laughs> supposedly, <laughs> supposedly. <perfect. laughs> okay, sorry. Good. Great job. Great job. Thank Let's go so to uh huh, Omar. The last paragraph, please. Omar Assis. All right. Tarcisio, go ahead. Okay. I would appreciate a full refund, 3.99 for this okay. product. We, we, say, we, say, we say 3.99. That's how you say 3 that. 3.99? Okay. Yeah. A full refund, three ninety nine for this product as soon as possible. Enclosed are the receipts, the empty box, and one of the unperfect muffins, so that you can experience it for yourself. Thank you for your prompt attention for this matter. Good, good. Sincerely, Michelle Bauer. <laughs> That's a good one, right? All right, I knew you guys would like this one. Okay, let's let's go to. Have you? Don't, does don't you ever feel like sometimes when when somebody promises you something from a store, don't you feel like doing that sometimes? You know, writing this kind of letter and then packaging it up and sending it to them, be like, here, you take this. <laughs> be funny. Okay, let's let's test your guys' comprehension now. All right, so. Let's go to uh, Man. No, wait a minute. Yeah, Manel. Manel, can you do question one, please? Question one, Manel. Uh, no, the job passed me. I'm still waiting for the page to load. Oh, okay. no problem. We can do that. Let's go to um, David. Go ahead, number one. Okay. 
This letter is most likely addressed to a the owner of the muffin mix company, b a local store owner, c the clerk at a local muffin bakery, and d George the cashier who sold Michelle the muffin mix. The cashier, 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 cashier. Cashier. Good. What do you think is the correct answer? Um, B. Oh, okay. B. A local store owner. Hmm. What do you think, uh, Regenhild? Um, A. You think A. The B. owner of the mixed muffin. B. 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 Because in B. the first in the first line it says uh, from your store at Mitzi Mall. It's oh. a store. I think that letter is addressed for George to George. Oh. No, okay. no, it's B. If it would be addressed for George, it would be mean uh, George or hello George or something like that. But in the first line, there is no, uh, there is no one. He says to whom it may concern. So there is nobody. But he wants a full refund. No, it's, it's letter B. What is okay. he He is talking about George in third yeah. person. He said, "What he says was George." So his, the letter is for the owner. It's a local store. store. Yes. Fabio, what do you think? It, it is the local store owner. I mean, he is asking for a refund. Usually, ask for a refund from the shop you're buying the stuff. And also, he 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 um, he just um, mm, refers to the to the cashier, which obviously works in the store. So it 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 has to be B in Bravo. Okay. Okay. Good. So the answer is B, everybody. The answer is B. And one of you mentioned the reason why is because it was bought at perfect. It says in the story it said, "I bought a perfect muffin kit from your store at Midfield Mall." Mm -hmm. So we know that they're talking about your store. So no doubt it's a local store owner. Okay. All right. That's the reason why. Very good. Very good. Now just one little thing. Um, who who read that? Was that you, David? Yeah. I okay. was you read that. Okay, David. Good. Nice job on your reading. I wanted to help you with one small thing here, okay? Because I think okay. for this word, for this word here, you said addressed. Addressed. Now, sometimes with the letter E D, the letter E D is a strange one. I mean, not the letter E D. Sorry, the the, the E D ending is a bit strange because sometimes. It takes the sound of a T, sometimes it takes the sound of a D, and sometimes it takes the sound of an ID. In this word, it takes the sound of just the, the D. So you just say addressed. No, sorry, this, it takes the sound of the T. So it's addressed. 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 That's it. That's how you say that word, okay? Okay. Good. Not Thanks. addressed, addressed. Good. Tarasicio, um, number two. Okay. The tone of the author, 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 can best be described as a furious, b disgusted, c embarrassed, d embarrassed, embarrassed, embarrassed. embarrassed. That's d, another one that takes the t sound. Embarrassed. Frust frustrated. I think it's d. Yeah. Frustrated. What do you yeah. think, Amparo? Amparo. Huh? What do you think, Andre? Uh, letter D. D. Yes, frustrated. Yeah. Yeah. D. yeah. Good. Because he yeah, uh, yeah. he asks a, a kind of a refund, I think. Yeah. D is yeah. right. Yeah. You guys are right. Excellent. Good job. Who wants to do number three? Uh, no me, may, may okay. I? Yeah, okay. go ahead. Um, uh, as used in paragraph one, which is the best synonym for guarantee? Guarantee. 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 Yeah. Um, lie, warning, promise, sentence, uh, promise. 
Hmm. Anybody disagree? No. Everybody. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. <laughs> Letter C. Yeah, Good. C. Excellent. That's correct. Fantastic. Yeah. Who, want, who wants to do number four? Me, Richard. Okay, Manel, go ahead. Which of the following best describes the organization of paragraph two? Uh, a. The paragraph follows a chronological order in which events are presented in the sequence of, uh, that they occur. B. The author explains a problem and then proposes a solution to that problem. C. The author makes an argument and then provides evidence to support that argument. D. The paragraph follows a cause and effect order in which series of causes are given, followed by their effects. A. I think it's A. A. Mm. Okay. Does anybody disagree? No, letter A. No. Letter A. Okay, no. good. You're absolutely right. Letter A. Now, yeah. here's the thing. Yeah. Uh, who read that again? I forget. I did. Who read it? Oh, no, sorry. Yeah, I thought you were referring to the paragraph. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, no, I'm sorry. Who, who read that question? I forget. Me, Manel. 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 Can you say the word in the chat box one more time, please? Which word? I just wrote it in the chat box. Ah, uh, occur. Okay, that's better. Yeah, good. Occur. Occur. Try that again. Occur. 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 That's it. You got it. Good job. All right, number five. Fabio. It can be understood that the author is disappointed by the product because A, it was worth less money than she paid for it. B, it did not fulfill the promise made on the box. C, the directions included with the product contained a mistake. D, the directions included with the product were too difficult to follow. Uh, I think, uh, well, in a twisted mind, I think it's B. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah, you guys are right. But explain to me why. Why Why do you think it's B? Tell me the logic behind it. Well, uh, I, I can't really explain you the logic. The I mean, I can, I, can, I, can put in, I can put myself in her shoes and because of she read, you know, that that kid would have provided the perfect muffin. She, I mean, she made everything by the book and I, according to her and then she, she just added her favorite ingredients and because of the box said just add your favorite ingredients it made no mentions that you know hot sauce or you know cement might not be a perfect ingredient <laughs> she just put whatever it passed on her mind so in her mind she, it, you know she made everything by the book but you know the product wasn't as satisfactory as promised on the box, so that's it. That's it. Okay, good. I think it's that's kind right. of she... as well. The directions included with the product contained a mistake because you okay. cannot add every time your favorite ingredient. Right, but did 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 she realize that there was a mistake? Did she make mention of that in her story, in her in her letter, that you guys made a mistake about the the product, the ingredients? No. No, she no, she didn't make mention of that. But she did mention on I think two or three times that your your box says that you'll have perfect muffins, and I didn't have perfect muffins, right? So, she she clearly um, she clearly thought that there was some failed, you know, promise on their end, right? As Abel said, uh, not Abel, uh, Fabio said, in her twisted mind. <laughs> All right, let's go to number six, number six, and let's go Amparo, number six. It can be understood that the author put hot sauce in the muffin because she, A, wanted to get a full refund. B. Did not read the directions carefully. C. Was out of raisins, not and berries. D. E. Yeah, good. D. Mm -hmm. Which one? Oh, I thought you read them all. D. Which one? D. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Exactly. Good. There's no trouble there. I think we all know that one. Excellent. Mm -hmm. David, number seven. Okay, uh, the author's main purpose in writing this letter is to 
A. Complain about how bad the muffins tasted. Uh, B. Obtain a full refund of her money. C. Prevent others from making the same mistake she did. Um, D. Persuade the company to change the wording on their box. Yeah, wouldn't she? What, what, which one is true? Mm. Uh, A. Okay, good. Does everybody agree? Yeah, she wants him, her money back. Yeah. Well, uh, no, that's, th that's, that's B. B. Yeah. I think it's B. So is it B or A? B. B. It's B. Yes, yeah, B. B. Yes. And he, he B. Wa she right. wants it, her money back. Yeah. Right. Okay, good. She wanted a full refund. Okay, good. Number eight. Number eight. Let's go to Re Regenhild. Number eight. Regenhild, you're up. It's your big shot. No? Okay. Tarsicio, go ahead. Okay. Which one, which of the following words best describes the author? A. Shrewd. Is shrewd? Yes, good pronunciation. Shrewd. B. Shrewd. Senseless. Yep. Senseless. C. Unreasonable. Unreason unreasonable. D. Careful. Senseless? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anybody have a different opinion? I think it's D. You think it's D? She's careful? Yes. Because she was like, uh, she was following, trying to follow in all the, all the directions on the box. But she put hot sauce, so it, it yeah. would be <laughs> I don't think that it would be carefully. <laughs> uh, but to her, that's her favorite ingredient, I guess. Mm. Okay, so what do you... So what 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 is your answer then? I stick with D. You're like in D. She's careful. Okay. Uh, let's get some other other thoughts here. Fabio, what do you think? Well, you know, in, in a way, she was careful. You know, she she followed everything by the book. Uh huh. Yeah, uh, but uh, I think I well, you know, in hindsight, I think she was senseless. You know, she she just. She just read the instructions, but she did not fully realize what she was doing. So the worst part is that she wants the, her money back when the mistake was. Yes. Mistake. Okay. So good. No. It's, it's well, unreasonable. Ah. Okay. Now we're starting to get somewhere. So if somebody is senseless, that means they're completely out of their mind. Now is she completely out of her mind? No. No, she isn't. Because she was no. able to follow directions. She was able to write a letter. Um, she she was also able to realize that the that the hot sauce didn't taste good. <laughs> right. Well, actually, no. I mean, she she said that the muffins with the hot sauce did not taste good. She still, right. you know, she still goes by her mind that you know hot sauce. It's a Gorgeous ingredient, she can put almost everywhere. Yeah. And the fault yeah. was in the muffin kit, so I don't know. Well, this is yeah, this is one of these ones where it's kind of like up for debate. But mm. I, I, I'm gonna go ahead and say that I think C is is more correct, and the reason why is is because she was unreasonable to believe that hot sauce would taste good in a muffin. I think that's unreasonable. Like just because it's your favorite ingredient doesn't mean that it's you should put it in absolutely everything, All right? So, anyways, I'm gonna say I personally think it's C, but if you think that it's B, that's fine. <laughs> All right. All right. So let's continue now. Let's go to um, number nine. Number nine. Who wants to try number nine? Who wants to try number nine? 
All right, let me choose somebody then. Reigenhild. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Why didn't you volunteer, Abdullah? I'm sorry. I no, I didn't say anything. I just oh. it was just a relief. Yeah. Go ahead. You do number nine. <laughs> me or play me? Oh yeah, okay. sure. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, instead of hot sauce, which of the following ingredients? Might the author have reason reasonably added to enhance the flavor of the muffins? Raspberries, banana nuts, chocolate chips. Uh, 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 it's D. All of them? All of them. Hmm. I think all of them. What do you guys think? Yes. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think so. Uh, okay. What yeah. you, I'm sorry. What, what what exactly is a banana nut? A banana nut. <laughs> what is a banana nut? That's a good question. Why don't we Google I, it? But a, a banana yeah, nut. Let's Google it. Banana nut. Okay. I'll do it. Whoa. It works good with muffin. Definitely. Oh, that's what you would think. Bloody hell! There is such thing to go. No, no, no. I thought, I thought, I thought you were pulling my leg. There is something. <laughs> wow. Okay. I think it's letter D. One, two, Did anybody three. find a picture of a banana nut? Did anybody find a picture of a banana nut? No. Not yet. They're just muffins, and yeah. I'm yeah, it's a bit strange because I'm just googling for a banana nut and I don't see anything coming up. So what's going on with that, guys? It's all muffins, but I can't yeah. I can't actually see the actual banana nut. You know what I mean by banana nut? Yeah, and I don't even I can't help you with that one. Because I don't know either, but it's a bit strange, really, when you think about it. But I think because it talks about banana nut being like a type of a bread, like banana nut bread or something. Yeah. Right? Yeah. All right. Well, in that case, I will accept uh, D or D or. Well, that's there's only there's only that option. It has yeah. to be D because raspberries for sure and chocolate chips for sure. Yeah. A yeah. tree will. Would taste good. Which one? I think it's D. <laughs> yeah. You don't have the option one and three. Just no. You're right. It doesn't have one and three. Okay, but bananas would be good, and nuts would be good. So banana nuts must be good too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Okay, let's do the last one, number ten. Who wants to do the last one? Okay, David, go ahead. Uh, okay. Uh, number ten. Um, according to the author, the muffin tasted absolutely terrible. Uh, this is the result of a misinterpretation. Uh, B. Negligence. Uh, C. Forgetfulness. And D. Recklessness. Recklessness. Okay, recklessness. Yeah, you said it right the last time. Reckless, recklessness. <laughs> okay, that's a difficult one. Yeah. What does it mean? What is what does reckless mean? Okay. Be reckless. What does it mean to be reckless? Somebody tell me. Yeah, reckless not, is not it, it being means, careful. Yeah. Good. Exactly. Probably D. Imprudent. D. Probably. Reckless? Yeah. Well, what do you guys think? Was she think not it's careful? A interpretation. Yeah, I think A. Well, is she, was, why do you think it's not recklessness? I mean, she was careful enough to put the other ingredients. Uh huh. Yeah. Right. Yeah, she followed. She's according to herself. She followed the uh, the instructions. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So you guys think it's misinterpretation. Why do you feel that way then? 
because she didn't understand that um, uh, your favorite ingredients doesn't include anything. In it only includes things that are suitable for baked goods. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So you guys are correct. Yeah. Obviously, that's a pretty straightforward one. So let me ask you guys a question now. Okay, what is your favorite ingredient in muffins? Let's start with Tarcisio. I have never eat muffins. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> yes, it's not common in Brazil. I don't believe it. Are you sure? It's not a common recipe here. You've never had a muffin? No. <laughs> Fabio, what do you think about that? I don't really like muffins, but I, uh, I've tasted them. I, I like yogurt in it. Oh, yogurt, yeah. Do you like, what do you, do you like hot sauce? Uh, not in muffins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I All do. Right. Actually, yeah, I do. Yeah, I like it too. What do you like hot sauce on? Huh. Uh, well, in uh, th there is a pasta we made, which is aglio, olio, and uh, peperoncino, which is garlic oil and uh, and. and and uh, small peppers like jalapenos, you know, the red ones. Oh, that's it's not really good. hot sauce per se, but it's hot, you know, and, and basically that's what you made hot sauce from. So, sounds good. Uh, now I like got it. hungry. Thank you. Uh. <laughs> uh, Abdullah, what are you? What is your favorite ingredient in a muffin? Uh, blueberries. What's your favorite ingredient that you put hot sauce on? Or your favorite thing you put hot sauce on? <laughs> Um, it's actually, yeah, meat. Well, okay, what kind of meat? Um, um, I, well, beef, actually. Yeah, it's good on beef, sure, yeah. sure, okay, yeah. Um, Amparo, what, what, do you, what do you like in your muffins? Walnut. Walnut? Yep. Do you like hot sauce on walnuts? No, I don't like spicy food. You don't like spicy food. No. Okay, that's that's fair. That's fair. You know, that's okay. We'll forgive you. We'll forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, David. What about you? Okay, and muffins are like chocolate. Oh. Yeah, I really like muffins made of chocolate. You like you do like muffins made of chocolate? Yeah. Okay, what do you like to put hot sauce on? I don't know, uh, probably the meat. It is oh, a curtain I mean. of Yeah. It is the curtain of what is the sauce of probably okay. turkey. I don't know. On turkey? Yeah. <laughs> Hot sauce on turkey? No, you're supposed to put gravy on turkey. Okay, I have tried turkey with cold sauce. You put cran cranberry sauce on, on turkey. Cranberry sauce. You know what? You, you should try hot okay. sauce on chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not kidding. <laughs> I'm serious uh, as an art attack. Uh, you should try. It's not bad. <laughs> Well, I've had I've had chocolate made of like those hot or made with hot jalapeno peppers. Uh huh. I've had that. And yeah, that's good. Yeah, some it people really, really like it. I thought it it tasted good with red wine. Yeah, right on. Yeah. Or on cheese too. Yeah, that's yes. Yes. What's the easier? difference between muffins and cupcakes? <laughs> <laughs> who, could, who would like to? Tell us the difference between a muffin and a cupcake. Who can tell us? Well, you, you, you can think of a cupcake as a really small cake. It uh -huh. usually has a frost in it, you know, so it's, it's really more of a small cake. Well, the muffin, it's, it's baked, so it's like a sweet bread. Good, good. Now, sometimes people will say there's no difference, but generally speaking, when people are talking about a cupcake, it's usually very sweet, and it's kind of like a dessert, whereas a muffin can be very healthy, but a cupcake is never going to be healthy. 
Okay. <laughs> Sometimes people make muffins and they have them for breakfast and things like that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Why do you laugh, Tarzisia? No, no, no. Nothing. The cupcake is the one with the cherry I on the to top. Cupcake sometime. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. And let's see. We've got time for one more opinion here. Samir. Are you there, Samir? No, he's not. Yes, there. yes, yes. Oh, yes. he is there. Okay. What is your favorite ingredient in muffins? Muffin. Okay. I don't eat muffin. Oh, well, that's a good answer. <laughs> Do you like hot sauce? Hot sauce, yes, I like it. What do you put? Hot I sauce like a spicy, on? A spicy foods. You like the spicy foods. What, yes. What do you like to put hot sauce on? Why I I would like to what on? Yeah. What do you like to put hot sauce on? Uh, I don't like uh, chili people. I don't like. Chili you like people. to put hot sauce on chili peppers. Okay, good answer. No, no, I, 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 <laughs> I, I, I like to put a okay. hot sauce with a spaghetti. That would be too uh, spicy. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yes. That's like double hot. Double yes. picante. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well. Nobody said hot sauce on chicken wings. I like to put hot sauce on chicken wings. But nobody yeah. else said that. Mm. Okay. I Anyways, said folks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <turkey. laughs> Okay. Well, I tell you what, friends. Uh, our time is up for today, so I thank you very much for coming into the class. All of you guys did a really, really good job. All right. So we look forward to having you come in again in the future to our next advanced class, Reading Comprehension, okay? So have All a right. great rest of the night, and we'll talk to you again soon, okay? Take care, guys. Okay, you take care. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye. Goodbye.